Okay, guys, you do a good job of um, taking care of my castle, okay? Guard my castle. They're real, okay? These are real guards. They're not fake. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're back at Waterberg here with the full tour of my castle, which is now called Baguette Fortress. I did my best to try and do some last minute detailing as much as possible. It, it isn't a pita bread build without some random empty spots, but uh, overall, I think it is as full as it can be. Disclaimer, I am not a really great builder. I am I'm trying my best to improve and get, you know, obviously get better and such. I'm not very knowledgeable with uh, castles and such or like, you know, technical castle things medieval things um this is basically my spin my flair to a castle it's not 100 percent accurate technically accurate so yeah this is my build but yeah look at this here's the full overlook of it um the landscaping i of course didn't do too much i, I think i was on the edge right here this is the edge of the grid so i couldn't really do too much with the landscaping wise but i think detailing and such have gotten a lot better i think i have i have definitely grown and learned some things from building this so it's been it's been a wonderful journey um just here is what it looks like. Oh gosh, okay. I really like it. I love for the most part how it turned out. Of course, there's things I could improve on, do better, but for now, um, this is this is what it is, okay? It is what it is. Oh gosh, now I'm noticing more things I could have done. Oh my god, can I can I just hold on and do this real quick? Hold on. Wait, wait, <laughs> wait why didn't I do the detailing for this? What? Oh my, and it was 100% possible to your one moment. These roofs here, um, and we're just gonna leave this one plain, but I think it's good, okay? For me, it's good, all right? Don't have too many high expectations of me, okay? I am not a detailed builder, but I think this is one of my more detailed builds ever in my Brockberg building career. Um, okay, let's let's just stop with the 360. Let's go ahead and go in here. So when you open the door, you have the village. I think I'm gonna call this the village. I don't care what it's technically called. It's my village. So over here we have some um, Tudor styled homes, and um, most of them are just you know very simple on the inside, like beds, some tables, a fireplace where they can like cook things. Have kitchens and some don't. All right, this house, all same thing, tables, chairs and such, and then of course. A bed up here, two beds up here. I think they're decent, you know, they're pretty decent. So yeah, there's two two-story ones, two one-story homes. Um, there's like a random campfire. People can like come together and sit down and such. Another home over here. Very, very simple. I love the simplicity of it. Alright, and then we have this house over here. It has a proper kitchen. I don't get why. I don't understand it, okay? This this build is all over the place. Do not be surprised at how messy it actually is. I don't know why this house has the kitchen. And then over here, I added, this is new, I added a little garden over here because I um you know this is the only spot I guess that was sort of open to have like a garden so they have like some wheat over here to make some bread and such um of course you have some trees which obviously have like apples and lemons some lemons are dead like some of these things are dead uh and then of course there's hay bales and such over here some work tables I'm gonna try to be fast with this tour because I gotta edit it really quick um but yeah this is pretty much the village living area and then of course the other level is the same thing there's some more Tudor styled homes and then if we go to the left of the castle Soul, the, the village and stuff. I've got a wishing well here, which took me a while to build, and it's a little, it's a, a little bit rough to it, but it's a wishing well nonetheless. And I've got, I made this, I made this um bucket and rope thing. Uh, over here, you'll also find some stalls where people are selling things like pumpkins, flowers, mystical things. I don't know what this really was. Ponsettias? What are, are these ponsettias? I don't. Know. And of course, there's more stalls. This is basically the marketplace all around here this is the main marketplace right here though so there you'll find a lots of random things for sale like lanterns which are really useful traveling at nighttime spices and such uh more spices jars uh hygienics you know I, honestly anything could be sold here you got some you got a mini bakery some flowers some ancient jugs and whatnot antiques i guess you got some of course your typical fruit stand very nice and of course behind the marketplace there is a tavern um, so if we go into here, this is like a like a bar, tavern bar type of setting. So plenty of seating in here for people to just like come together and have a bite to eat or have some drinks and such. Um, water, of course, and <laughs> water. And then of course, this is the actual bar. Um, I put some random barrels here. Of course, the banner. This is my official banner. <laughs> it's so basic. It's like the most basic banner ever, but it's my um, castle banner theme all right it's my banner all right and that's the tavern very nice it's very nice to have you'll also find that the banners also have like the logo right here as well these are very smooth looking i think these are the smoothest looking ones all right and then we go down the marketplace a bit go down here 
we have another entrance, I guess. Um, and then this is where the horses are, aka reindeers, okay? Pretend these are horses. But of course you gotta have your horse stables, designated horse stables. And these are pretty, like, K2, honestly, and then this is a silo. Some hay and such, I don't know exactly. This is supposed to be, like, sort of a tower. On this side is, like, a silo, and then the other side is, like, a regular tower. It's, like, two for one, you know? <laughs> a two for one combo. <laughs> Holds all the hay bales and such for our reindeer or horses. Got our animals. We're raising some livestock here. I was going to make custom pet, custom animals, but I... Custom is not in my dictionary. But I do make like really basic custom stuff. But overall, that's pretty much my village right here. I do like how it turned out. And then, of course, the towers. Here are the castle towers for my guards. So they live inside these. So they're treated fairly well, too. They have a nice bed and everything they need. And then they would come up here and um, watch over. I also have guards, like other guards, like scattered right here. But we can have some additional guards to make sure we are safe and such to keep watch of things, you know? We don't want any funny business around here. This is unrealistic, but yeah, I added a barbecue area up here, okay? We don't talk about it. We don't talk about barbecue! But yeah, this is my castle headquarters, okay? My tower headquarters. Uh, you'll notice that they also have their own little kitchen here. <clears throat> it's very basic but yeah and then yes some hallways to sit down and they have their own little mini libraries and such so that's what they get for being my guards they have to have like the proper things being educated and being watchful and having their needs you know filled same thing for this side as well it's basically the same thing this one's just more of a narrow hallway for this tower but they also have the same things, you know, as the other tower. This one has a secret door, which basically leads to, um, lead to some skulls. Yeah, nothing, nothing crazy there. I like it. It's, it's, it's something, okay? PETA's wannabe builder phase, all right? I'm a wannabe builder. Okay, so those are all the things down here, all right? I think, I don't think I missed anything, I hope. Okay, so if we go up to the second level here, once again, we have more, um, village tutor homes, which are basically the same things as the ones you saw from down here. Oh, see, once again, a bug. This is not supposed to be like that, okay. Um, if we go over here, we have a very random picnic area. I don't know if they had picnic areas back then, but I do, all right? I have picnic areas. There's some more like scenic, um, you know, lounging areas and such. Um, here are some castle outhouses. One side of them is a shower. This is just for the grand opening. This is not accurate, okay? Well, sort of accurate, but not really. Okay, this is for the grand opening when people are stinky. They can take a shower in here. There's three um, showering stations for them. You also have toilets as well. Um, I put a bucket here, but you can like sit down. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I tried to hide the toilet and put a bucket over it, um, but it, look, it looks a little silly. That's what someone recommended to me uh, to just use the buckets for the outhouses. But they technically work, okay? It would just be like right here instead, like in the wall a bit. But yeah, these are mood stations for the grand opening. I'll once again let you guys know when that's gonna happen, but uh, we'll see, we'll see. Over here is my dungeon, okay? This is where all the bad people go. If you commit a crime or we catch you trying to invade the, the tower or the castle somehow, uh, we'll catch you and put you in here, all right? Hence the skull. Um, but once you walk in here, there's really nothing. But once you go down, this is where the dungeon is. And you'll find lots of blood, dirt, uh, spiders, and and uh, skulls and such. I honestly, I don't know what this is for. But yeah, you have, of course, prison cells like in here. We'll supply you with a bed and such. Uh, this is not too accurate, of course, a real dungeon. But I guess for the looks, it is sort of nice. It, you know, sort of resembles a dungeon, but the actual cells themselves. Yeah, we have some coffins in here too. Some people, you know, tend to like get into a coma in here and they we put them in those coffins. But yeah, we have lots of cells to keep criminals in. I'm going to be probably doing this for the grand opening. Okay, I'm expecting a lot of these to be filled with prisoners because people are very, very stinky and... If you stink, you will end up in here. So I believe that is everything for the second level. Nothing much out, nothing much really. All right, so let's go ahead and move and head on over to the castle itself. I made some changes to the inside, but it's not perfect once again. Here is the entrance to my castle. You go up the stairs and on the other side of the stairs is a nice just seating outdoor area, which has like, you know, 
you know, some trees and such. I also have like random plants growing. What? What, what happened to my plants? I thought I had a, like orchards and such. What happened to them? I had an orchard out here. What happened? I don't get it. Oh God. Okay. Anyway, we have a city seating, you know, just outdoor seating, um, random things. Oh, I think I know what happened to it. I think I, I don't know what happened actually. Okay. So for sure, this castle building itself is definitely not a castle. I don't, I will not consider this an actual castle building. If anything, it'll be more like a manor, palace, mansion, any of those three things that I've just listed. It definitely seems like that a bit more than actual castle itself. Um, once again, that's because I don't know what I'm doing and I tried. All right. My, that effort was sort of there. Hey, okay, here are my castle guards. It's Frank and Bob. Uh, <laughs> no, Frankington and Bob, Bob, Bob the third. So uh, I made a lot of changes to the inside because someone did give me some tips about the interior being like, you know, more futuristic or modern in a way. So I made it more grungy looking uh, and put some sto like stones and bricks and stuff around. So this is what we have. So yeah, this is my castle, my actual castle. So to the left over here, it's just like a mini office. This is where um, I have someone write all my my duties. I have someone doing all the duties and stuff here. Someone's in the office. Um, this is a bathroom, which I've changed up to. Nothing too much. I really like it, actually. I do like the colors and stuff. Let's go over here to this side. I was going to do custom furniture here, but I couldn't be bothered. I... I'm not. I don't. I, I don't do a good job with custom things. Oh my god! All my plants are gone. <gasps> what happened to my plants? They die. They're just gone. I don't know what happened. I used to have plants in here, but this is my greenhouse room. Um, I moved all the trees out to somewhere else outside, but I don't know what happened to my like actual plants. I don't get it. I, I guess they died. All right, let's go ahead and move over here. This is the dining hall area. I think it looks a lot better than before. So I did make some changes here with some colors and textures and stuff. Um, but yeah, I think it definitely looks a lot more... Does it fit, feel more medieval? I don't know. I'm not sure if it feels more medieval, but this is the dining hall now. Um, my kitchen, pretty much the same for furniture and stuff. I just changed colors and whatnot here, but yeah, my medieval kitchen. Could have done more. Once again, I could have done more, but I, oh, I didn't change this though. All right. <laughs> okay. This is my pantry. Pretty, you know, pretty normal. Um, this is my basement, which is a wine cellar. I, I actually really liked how this turned out. So I looked up some photos. Here's inspiration, by the way, for uh, what I based this off of. I guess I based it off this photo. No, maybe this. This was this was the photo that I based my wine cellar off of. Someone suggested I do a wine cellar, like a winery place. And this is what we have. I think it's okay. I did some custom shapes. Okay, this is where I did custom things. So I used some wedges for these and then I put the uh, some shapes here and then I put these wedges on top of that and I could like copy and paste it. So I did, I did save a lot of time with doing this, you know? So this is my cellar. I like it. It's cool. Very simple though. Yeah, that's my basement wine cellar. So then if we go upstairs, I, I changed out these stairs with like the carpeted stairs to make to make it more like castle-like, but eh. Here's the upstairs. This is where my throne is. And <laughs> I don't know why. I think it looks it looks okay. Um, this is my throne. Alright. I, I gotta have a throne for my castle. Um, you'll notice that there are toasters up here, alright? I can make some bread if I wanted to, because pita bread. Yeah, it's just a very basic throne area. Um, I was gonna make this, like, into a library, but, yeah, I think a throne room is more suitable here. Just if I want to, like, chill here and stuff. I got my guards everywhere. The only thing that's not custom is this chair, but everything else is, like, basic shapes here. I got, like, sand shapes here, and then, yeah. Here is a guest bedroom. Um, just two beds and dressers and some towels or, like, blankets, whatever. This is another guest bedroom. Didn't do too much with it. Over here is the another guest bedroom, I think. Yeah, it's another guest bedroom. Has a double bed in it. And, uh, over here is a library, and I put another throne in here. I copied and pasted. But yeah, this is where I will read and be educated, sort of. <laughs> Clearly not educated enough to make a full-on, like, accurate castle, but yeah. I was gonna put a secret room in here, but I ran out of money, so we'll just leave this blank for now. But this is supposed to be, like, a secret door that will lead you somewhere. All right, and then over here, we have my actual bedroom. And this one feels really uh, interesting. I have, like, curtains and stuff if I want to close it off while I sleep. But this is my, my bed. I kept it, once again, more simple in here as well. I do love the colors. It is very grungy, very mus musty looking. Musky, musty. Uh, but yeah, my bedroom. Nothing too crazy. Then this is my ensuite bathroom as well. Got my bathtub and my... I put a toilet in here, but that's okay. I'll go to the outhouses. I just have a bathing area. Maybe I'll... This is my toilet. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, we have a sink and such. I do like this layout of a um, bathroom. 
could have done more detailing with it, but that's okay. I actually added a balcony right here. Like, this is a last minute decision. I added a random balcony. I can look over my village, my castle stuff. There we go. And I think that is it. That basically wraps up my castle. Yeah, woo! I tried to go a little bit fast because um I'm running out of time again. I don't know why I rushed myself with these things. If I didn't rush myself, it probably would have been a little bit more better. But for what I... For what I was able to do, I am done. My somewhat, somewhat castle is complete. Um, I've been wanting to do this for a while. Has Was it something that I, you know, pictured? Not exactly. You know, it's pretty cool. But yeah, full tour complete. Now we just do the grand opening, which uh, I will let you guys know when that will happen in my community post or my Roblox group. Let you guys know when that will happen. I'm aiming for a weekend. I don't know if it's going to be this weekend because I just... For reasons. But yeah, anyway, guys, that is the full tour of my Blockberg Castle, Baguette Fortress. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, you found it inspiring anyway, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. And make sure you hit the subscribe button too, because it is completely free. Thank you all for taking the time already to watch this. Uh, thank you guys for taking the time to watch this whole series. I know I didn't do a really, like, amazing job with the castle. Um, but I am still learning. I'm still trying to improve. Uh, I have a lot more to learn for sure. But, you know, I think I did a good job. I'm not going to try to roast myself all the time. I did do, like, I feel like I did great in some places. It could have been better. It could have, there could have been better things. But I do appreciate you guys watching it. I do appreciate all the advice and tips and suggestions for when I was building this. Appreciate you guys a lot. And yeah, that's the end of my castle series. Hope you guys have a great day. Peter Bread signing out. Goodbye, everybody. Ah, it's finally over, guys. We did it. Round of applause. I finished another project. I do not want to do another big build for a while again. I just, I want to take a break from big builds. I'll just do random things.